Hello, I want to welcome you to my very first episode of Living Through Faith. So God placed on my heart to share my walk, to share with whoever will listen what my life has been like for the last 10 years walking in faith. My entire life has been what I call a love walk with God. So my name is Kenesha Berry. I am a relationship life coach. I'm a mom. I'm a Christian. I love the Lord. I'm a wife. But most importantly, I am a person who chooses to truly surrender and walk by faith. So I want to share with you what that has looked like over a series of these episodes. So I hope you will come back, tune in, subscribe, and share with me what your life has looked like through faith. So of course, like many of us, like I started my Christian walk with God um, 1997. And I remember that distinctly because it's the exact year that I got married. However, it wasn't until 20, 20, 2011 that I moved into what I now call my love walk with God. And what I mean by that is from 1997 to 2011, my relationship with God was built on what I consider more fear than faith or love. I was so afraid of displeasing God, doing the wrong thing, always feeling like I was never going to measure up, not realizing that even though his, his word says that we are saved by faith and that he loved us greatly, I was somehow trying to earn God's love earn his acceptance and his approval. Now, had you asked me back then, I don't think I would have told you that was that's what was going on. But I do remember the tightness in my chest that I often felt on my way to church or leaving church. I do remember every time there was something new I had to decide, struggling with, is this the right thing to do? Lord, is this was what you would have me to do? And never confident in the decisions that I was making. Now, it wasn't until 2010 that a lot of that changed for me. And that changed because my husband came home. I've been married now for 20, I got married in 97, I can use that. 23 years. So this year will be 24 years. Um, but at, at that time, my husband and I was married for, what's that? How many years? I'm really bad with numbers. Um, but he came home and he, and he talked about, working abroad, getting a job abroad. And I don't know if he knew at the time, I don't think he did, of how empty I felt inside, how dissatisfied with life, how sad I felt all the time. Um, it wasn't something I talked about with no one but God. Um, it, I almost felt guilty for feeling sad and dissatisfied with my life because I had what everyone in the world said I should have had. I had a husband who did, who loved me, and we got along well, um, at least to the outside world. I had two children, two beautiful children, and my bonus son. So I had, we lived in a four-bedroom home. Um, I, I had a so-called great job. I had those things that people said I should have that would make me happy, but I wasn't happy. And so I thought, who am I to complain? consider what everyone else had. But I can still remember the morning that I said to God, Lord, if this is it, if this is all that life has to offer, you're going to have to help me. Because to wake up every single day dissatisfied with this job that I have, feeling lost and disconnected from life, this isn't going to work for me. Please, God, let me know if there's something more. And shortly after that prayer, I remember my husband coming home saying he had applied for a job, but it would require us to move. And I thought, sure, I don't care. Like, whatever you have, I need something fresh and new. I'm all for it. So he had taken a job in the UAE. That's the United Arab Emirates. That is Abu Dhabi, Dubai, and where we end up living was Eileen. Um, and this country, I was a little familiar with it because my cousin had moved there probably two or three years prior to us moving there. So I knew a little bit about it. I knew that it was a beautiful country and that it was safe because um, my cousin was living in Dubai. And so I thought, I'm all for it. 
I'm all for like, let's pack our bags, let's sell everything, let's go. Um, and it was there, it was there in this Muslim country that I began my journey, my love walk with God and this life by faith. Because in order for us to take this job abroad, and the only way it could work financially was one was we was going to have one income and I was going to have to homeschool my children. All of this was new for me. I was saying goodbye to a job. I was learning to be fully dependent on God and my husband, but I was ready. And God had prepared the way, and I'll share those stories with you guys in later episodes. But for today, I just want to encourage that person who may be watching, who feels like maybe there's more for life. Maybe there's more you should be doing. There's this passion or this desire in your heart for life to be more fulfilling. Maybe you are like me. You question like that scripture that says, where Jesus says, I come that you have life and have it more abundant and overflow. I was wondering, what does that look like? Because I never found it in the things that I was getting. And when we moved and I began to live this life that in all honesty, had laid dor- it was a dream that had laid dormant in my soul for years because as a young child, um, I used to say I wanted to see the world. And that made no sense to anyone around me. It didn't even make a whole lot of sense to me. But I had this great desire to see the world. And here I was moving to a new country with all this excitement. And it literally felt like the day that we got off the plane. I remember saying to my children, to my husband, my soul belongs here. That's how much joy happened and came just when I got off the plane in Abu Dhabi. The warm air at night, it just felt so right. I finally felt alive again. And then my journey began. And prior to us leaving, up into the months of me knowing my husband had gone four months before the children and I, God kept giving me the scripture out of Isaiah that says, um, I will do a new thing. I will bring about a new thing. And I, I, But I was busy focusing on the new thing. And anytime something is new, we all get excited because we think new is fun and fresh and beautiful and and good and easy. Although my new thing came with a lot of difficulties, God blessed me that I went through that in the most beautiful country, being able to experience beautiful things in the midst of my brokenness because it was there that he broke me wide open He broke my heart and wide open. He broke my marriage wide open, but he also restored. And it's then that I found this loving, patient, sweet father, God. I went from being afraid of displeasing my God to fully falling in love with with my father to fully experiencing him as a dad who took care of me, who led me, who guided me. Because in this desert, in this you know new country, the Middle East, I didn't have a church at the time. I didn't have um, a bunch of Christian friends. We was new to the country. But in the midst of all of that, you know, my, my found out, my, my marriage was in trouble. That'll be another video. I'll tell you more about that. But in the midst of that, God came alongside me. And he loved me through this extremely painful time. And so I began my journey, my love walk, my faith walk with God. And again, this whole series is going to be about me sharing with you my journey with hopes that you will take a leap of faith towards whatever vision, dreams, or goals that he's placed in your heart so that he can come alongside you and show you how much he loves you. I also hope that what you begin to get is if you're like me years ago, struggled with not so much believing that God loved you, but believing somehow you had to be right, do right, get it right in order to have this abundant life or in order to have the freedom that God promised or if you go to church every day and, or walk through life worried all the time that you're 
displeasing to God and you're never going to get it right. And what if I do the wrong thing? Is it okay for me to listen to this song? Or, oh Lord, you know, can I drink wine? Or maybe you're not doing those things, but you're condemning other people for doing it because you have a fear-based relationship with God. You have a relationship with him based on your do and not what I call your who. I pray that you continue to follow me, that you watch these videos, and that you come into the fullness of faith of Romans 10 when God says, we are righteous through faith in him. It is in our heart and it is in our mouth that the essence, the word, everything is in him. We do not have to work for our salvation. We do not have to prove ourselves. We do not have to be good enough. We do not have to, we don't even have to never ever sin again. And I know for some people that sounds crazy. God is fully aware that when we receive him, we will still have problems and bouts with sin. We don't have to get it all right because Jesus did all that for us. And so I pray that if you watch this series and you continue to hang in there with me and you begin to hear my journey, of living through faith, that you begin to live through faith and with faith as well. Thank you for taking time to watch. Please subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me questions and share this with your family and friends. Again, my name is Kenesha Berry. I am a relationship life coach. The relationship I help people with is the one that they're having with themselves because I know that you're not going to have a better relationship with anyone else if you're not having a good loving relationship with yourself and I believe that relationship with you definitely encompass the type of relationship that you're having with God so thank you again for watching I'll talk with you soon bye-bye